that feel when you can't come up with an original costume so you just end up going as a pizza boy? I feel like such an unoriginal piece of garbage, but I don't know what the deal is about San Francisco and Spider-Man, but people take it way too seriously. Like, what in the name of Mary Jane is the deal? What I mean by this is I was walking on Market Street and some lady yells to me. This is on the way to work, by the way, and I'm allowed to wear this. She just yells at me, Put on your mask, Spider-Man, in like a demeaning way, as if she's calling me out. I just froze in the middle of Market Street. And keep in mind, this is like the busiest street in all of San Francisco. I was like, oh, okay, three things, lady. First of all, this is custom tailored. This is like the most expensive suit that I own. I don't even know if that's like sad or impressive but this is not like some kind of chump i'm just wearing spider-man for the day type costume and i'm wearing this to work on a monday don't question my commitment number two where is your spider-man costume if you love him so much where's your bo can you believe that <sighs> i actually brought like a box of uncle ben's rice just to, you know, kind of fish out to see if any of my coworkers would get the joke. And this is like, this is an actual box of rice. Like, I, I actually have a box of rice here and nobody noticed. Someone asked me like, hey, why are you eating like an uncooked box of, of rice? Well then, I guess it's time for a new graphics card. You see, you say that, but then you actually see me in this mask and it's, oh my God. You know, like, cringe? I hate the word cringe, just in general. <laughs> because I think that it's like a bunch of basement dwellers that have never ever taken risks or, like, tried anything out of their comfort zone in their entire lives. Those are the types of people that use the word cringe too much. But this is, like, a different level. Like, beyond cringe. Like, if you... I'm just gonna put it on. Great. Like, what is this shit? What the f is this why would i ever put this on this may be tailored but this is not like my nose bridge curves to the point oh my i don't even want to think about how i look these there's like holes in my nose the size of shotgun shells please please someone toss a bus through my window so i can die oh and there's still so much rice in there like there's gotta be two handfuls of rice still in those eyes oh well then, now that this room is basically a sandcastle full of rice, let's move on to what I was really talking about. Unfortunately, I don't have any kind of like spooky game to play, just because I think a lot of you know that would just be fabricated screaming if I really did play one of those games. I don't think I want to see that, and I don't think you want to see that. So I'm going to take a gamble and just hope that whatever EA sent me in these two boxes over here is outrageously spooky. Which I assume it's not going to be, but it's... It's probably just gonna be boring. But before I start cutting things open, I wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Discord. And if you don't know what Discord is, you really need to know what Discord is. Just picture it as what Skype should be. I send you a link, you click on the link, immediately you're in voice and text chat with your very best friends playing video games. That's all that you need. You can download it in like two seconds. You can even run it out of a web browser. Why are they paying me for this? I would have given this shout out for a high five. I've been using this thing for six months. Why are they paying me for this? If you want to join my server where I hang out after work, you can click the link below. But if you're one of those cool kids that like post dank memes during gym class, you can even create your own server to have your own secret club. All the information is down below. Now let's go see what corporate America brought us. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with the little one just because it looks like it's way more important. Then we're going to move on to the big boy. If it's just a bunch of keys, that would be hilarious. What if it is just like a bunch of keys? That's not the right... This is such a terrible angle, like what... Oh, my mouth still tastes like rice. Oh, okay. Okay, now I kind of get how unboxing requires talent. This is a code for something. I did not think this thing would be this big. That's pretty, that's pretty damn big. Yeah, check out how he's holding his gat by default. It's like he's trying to stick up the sommelier or something. Okay, so this is like a tiny little shotgun and a little pistol that you get, but I'm too lazy to swap out limbs, so I'm probably just gonna like stick it. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, tell me you want him on your team. It's like a guaranteed 75 kill streak. Batteries do not need. We got playing cards. I'm I'm not gonna enlist now. Your country needs you, especially if you can quickscope. We got a patch and we got ooh, we got a we got a little like pigeon message. Do you know what? I, I I don't even care. The first person that gets this code gets this code. I I don't I don't want this like special edition white camouflage pistol. I don't care. I really do not care. And last but not least, here is the game. I guess there's no game. No, oh, maybe that was in the... I don't remember. It could have been in the email, but there was definitely no game. I feel like this guy is too good to not celebrate, so we should probably light something on fire in his honor. Okay, so I wanted to cap off with a few things that I've been noticing recently. And the first thing is just, if I could describe Battlefield 1 to anybody in three words, it would easily be Gas! 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 Right now! I hate to say it, but it's extremely effective just to throw gas everywhere. It doesn't even matter where it is. You're gonna force the enemy team to either put on masks and be forced into hip fire, or continuously take damage, so why not? Especially on War Pigeon, you're either gonna kill the Pigeon, you're gonna kill somebody around the Pigeon, you're gonna damage somebody around the Pigeon, or in general, it should almost just be like a forced item that you spawn with in that game type. I'm still not sure exactly how I feel about the whole I'm wearing a gas mask the entire round type deal, just because it's kind of annoying just to hear breathing intensifies for like 25 minutes, but at the same time, uh, this is a little bit different from other games. But just so you know, it is a little bit startling if you see guys without masks on. Like, you see it on, he looks pretty badass if you ask me, and then he takes it off? Huh. Jesus. No, thank you. That is just like seeing a crush without makeup. I don't know what you had on previously, but it needs to go back on. And that's about it. That's really all that I had to say. Tune in next time when we learn how to clean silly string out of super cheap carpet. Hey, you know what? I bet my aim is killer with this, though. Oh. Yup. It's in the keyboard.